Libra, this is your week ahead tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. Welcome. My name is Michelle and this is for Libra Sun, Moon and Rising sign. Um, it is a timeless message so it comes to you at exactly the time that you need to hear it. If you want a full astrology breakdown for what is happening right now and how it's going to impact you, please check out my second YouTube channel, Astrology Motivation, where we will go deep and dig deep into the particulars of the astrology. Please take this energy that I described to you here where it resonates and feel free to leave your comments below because I love to know how it's impacting you guys. So the first card out is sweets. Have you been overindulging? And maybe you should. We're gonna get deeper into this energy, but let me explain what the scene that this is setting. This is a sense of sensual pleasures. Now, sensual pleasures have to do with the body, the physical. It doesn't necessarily have to do with sexual. It has to do with the sensual. So food is included in this. Just those, those physical, Five sensory sensual is sense think of sense the five senses the stuff that gives pleasure to the five senses things that look pretty things that smell pretty things that taste good so this is all about sensuality so something is telling me and and Libras are, very, are ruled by Venus and Venus is very active right now so there is this a sense of of feeling very sensual, of, of being attracted to things and interacting and maybe even having opportunities. Now the warning with this card is that there could be time for indulgences or overindulgences, even gluttony. So there is a sense of are you overdoing it on the backside of this question. But it's also kind of a celebratory uh, sweets 18 it adds up to could be asking what do i need to give up have i been overindulging maybe signs are starting to point to yes i have been overindulging can we clarify this energy a little bit there is loneliness here so yeah so what is the implication overindulging in sensual pleasures because you are compensating for being isolated and lonely feeling like you are missing maybe even missing or have restricted yourself too much from those sensual pleasures or just from where you feel accepted and where you feel really good if you find yourself a uh, libra looking for or longing toward a specific direction maybe you want to go home you know maybe you are isolated and you feel far away maybe there is a temptation um, for you to go back to a place where you felt more comfortable simply because you feel you just like it's like you miss you miss those pleasures um, it could be a longing for some sort of sensual pleasures that you feel you haven't gotten to indulge in. You've been sort of restricting maybe yourself intentionally or just because of your life you felt restricted from it. These, this, is, this is the energy that is front and center. So let's dig deeper into this. What do you want Libra to know about this feeling of isolation? Something's come out a little bit in the past nothing comes out in the past over here unless it's directly impacting what's going on right here in the center so let's let's get into it libra judgment there was some sort of acknowledgement or understanding second chance or second in other words not too long ago i would say i would be surprised if this was even a, a year ago even just a few months ago there was a sense there was a sense of knowing that you had to cut back on something or knowing that you were feeling deprived of something that you used to really enjoy, okay? Um, and then we have the Hierophant here. There's something with traditional value systems, maybe even money, maybe even having to give something up. But since Taurus is upright, let's keep going. I want to get deeper into the Empress is here. So having enough or having enough, having enough or having a lot more than you could ask for. And then we have nothing. We have poverty. It's almost like going from riches to rags, only this doesn't outweigh the major arcana. So I'm not really sure why there is a sense of tension here. 
this this you have to clarify for me god hold on go with me libra what do you mean left with nothing why is this five of pentacles here what are you trying to tell us the high priestess is here which is another major arcana this is a sense of what learning how to balance haves and have nots there is a sense of being overindulgent when you have and then having nothing left over where have you used up or run all your pleasures too much and left yourself out in the cold with nothing then we have seven of wands fighting sticking up for your value maybe feeling like you're taking two steps forward or where once there was a really abundance of stuff now you feel isolated i think that's what's becoming more clear where once you felt there was an abundance of something now you feel like you've just been struggling to get it like you've been struggling with it it's been a constant fight because you don't have half as much as you used to this is coming strong in terms of finances um but then we have the king of wands here and heartbreak so king of wands is and the lovers so um king of wands is kind of wonky there is a sense of somebody looking forward being into themselves somebody who is more focused on who they are than who we are um king of wands is definitely leo sagittarius or aries this is also a heartbreak when it comes to a romance i feel like honestly i feel like you feel you felt like you overestimated somebody's value or that they're they've they've completely let you down and you don't see them the way that you used to maybe you're not even as attracted to them as you used to or their attraction is pointed in a different way this has to do with some sort of romantic relationship or if it has to do with gemini since um, venus enters gemini this week for those of you interested in the astrology there is a sense of harsh words or words that break your heart so this could be a breakup especially if you are with a fire sign i think you have been struggling and trying to make things work and in that particular case you realize that you've done all that you can do and there's just something a statement that's made or a decision that's made that you you kind of i'm telling you right now you've kind of been feeling like it's been coming like you're overindulging or trying to overcompensate with maybe sex maybe the pleasures you're trying to overcompensate with like sensual pleasures because there's something lacking underneath so ultimately there is a sense of 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 heartbreak here um yeah please please confirm this heartbreak it comes at just the right time you have to sort of fight your way back what is yeah just let me shut up what do you need us to know you're yeah it's it's definitely made you stronger <laughs> it's it's definitely like it's it's made you stronger in your convictions of who you know you are and what you know you believe in and what what faith you have it's it's made your faith and conviction stronger okay um what is the three of swords though a king of swords is here that is you guys making of a decision or a final decision being made or you're finally able to make the final decision and what is that decision to move you're moving somewhere you're going somewhere or it's time to take a different route and that's what it is it's it's all it's almost like a sense of okay all, once again i see you looking looking somewhere else i think i see either it's toward a different relationship or it's toward actually physically somebody is looking to go somewhere else move somewhere else there is there is a decision to go to leave um okay i mean at this point whether it's you or them you're ready you're ready for it to happen i think you haven't been in the past but that's why you have maybe been overindulging in other things there has been stress and a lack of pleasure that you can only make up for by maybe overeating over drinking over indulging even though you feel lonely and it doesn't make up for the loneliness this is a sense of you're strong enough now to come on the other side of heartache maybe even now having options with other people to start a different relationship or somebody does damn 
Uh, this is usually not a straightforward relationship reading. So if you want to apply this to your work situation, absolutely. There's something that came out in the future. Let's get into that. Um, I think that there is somebody who is challenged right now. They have, let's put it this way. Whether it's you or them, this is a person that needs to get away in order to recalibrate themselves. Because right now, they're compromised and their, their heart is broken and they feel like they've got nothing and maybe they are. Like, their money is compromised, right? There's a great deal of potential here, but it doesn't seem to have translated into 3D value. That's right now. So what this is saying is, whether it's you or somebody else you know, they have to move away. Because look what's coming out in the future. We have the King of Wands upright, somebody who knows themselves, is sure of themselves, and who is the master of their craft, right? But that's coming in the future. Maybe by the end of this week, maybe a little bit longer, and there's the Ace of Swords. It's like, yes, triumph, victory, and success coming with you know your goals, your dreams, your ambitions, like being able to move forward, career opportunities, you know, people taking notice of your value, really being triumphant and seeing clearly what you're good at. Something that maybe even you've been working on it now and there was a disappointment, there is a sense of, okay, I've got to decide to move in a different direction and figure this out and leave the hardship behind in order to heal. And then we have the towel, which, listen, hang with me. We're going to get into, I got to get a moon card for you guys too. We're going to get into what is this tower. There is a sense of being able to leave it behind, but there's some sort of tower here. It's, I, I, let's see what the tower is. On the other side of it, something ends up good. Um, let's clarify the tower before we get the moon card. What is this tower here for? What's, what's happening? I think it's gonna surprise you that they decide to leave. I think, that, I think that's it. I think there's just, what I say? Being left behind or feeling left behind. You know, it's not necessarily, but this is it, you feel abandoned. But they are, I'll tell you this right now, they're going or you're going and you're gonna leave them feeling abandoned. But they're doing it. But you know, can I just please clarify this, please? Because don't forget what's come out in the future and why did it come out in the future? So that the universe can tell you, don't freak out Libras. Cause what feels like abandonment now is really liberation. This has to happen in order for you to really recalibrate yourself. If you tried to stay where you are and continue to try to fight and make things work, the universe has to intervene because you're not getting anywhere. You're not getting far. You may, you may, the only thing you ever get is like little battles won, but you're gonna have to keep using all your energy just to like take inches forward. And that's not right. It's, it's unbalanced. So the universe is coming in and hitting you with this, what they're leaving. Somebody's leaving or it's time for you to leave. Now, let's get into the moon card to illuminate a little bit of what this all means. Surrender to the divine. I'm not even kidding you, this just came out. It's just came out. It's like, listen, you already know what the divine is telling you. You already know that you just gotta let this happen. The more you fight, the more you get hurt. So ultimately, Libra, surrender to the divine. Let this be. Let Please let the divine direct you, direct you because this is coming through, please listen. Please let the divine direct you because the divine is helping you out of this shitty situation. It may feel like it's not bullshit. Please ride this current. It is taking you exactly where you need to go. It is going to spit you out at exactly the right place. But this is a huge act of faith on your part. But look at what's coming on the other side of it. We have got to go to the extended. Please know that if you're watching me on television, None of these links are available to you. There's a link in the description box. There's a link pinned to the top of the comment section. I'm attaching a link above so you can click right on it and go right to it. But if you're watching this on TV, you're gonna have to get off the television and go to your mobile phone, your laptop or your desktop. That's where the links are available. I will see you guys in the extension, in the extended reading. I love you.